these blades we've got blades to bevel, a fill craft from tops to clean up we've got a new tripod, whiskeys to clean up the new tripod it's got a handle on it <laughs> bit parky here this side So if it's 30 years old it works. If it's a lolly tron it doesn't. start on your um, bushcraft knife. So I'm going to surface finish it on my uh, new 12 inch wheel assembly. So the surface finish and give it a nice satin. 
Let's just make a straw lap. Okay, so so that ends up with as, as good a front when Sandy always shows that to the camera. Okay, what knife maker? Dell Lee. It's gotta be it's gotta be absolutely right, okay? Now, at the end of the day, performance of knife doesn't really make much odds. It's just people like us we want it right. I'm I'm looking at this and I want to get this right for Steve, okay? So I look on that end of that knife there, and I put my nail to where that finishes. Okay. By the time I get round to the other side, that's where it finishes. On the other side. It's about a mil out. So in my brain, I remember I'm going to be doing a steer. So when I put his new bevel on, I'll be taking, I, I want to take the minimum that I can to get rid of the odd chip off of one end of the knife so that the customer loses the minimum amount of tip to get it right. satin finish on that. I've got a smiler I've got to get rid of tomorrow. I'm going to bevel it and I'm going to hand finish that off neat and tidy. I'm going to horizontal the top, put a nice square spine on it and just dress what would be sharp in the gym pin. I'm going to dress that down a little bit afterwards but I'm going to come back tomorrow because it's dark and I've got far better natural light coming in tomorrow morning. Um, a few models I want to show for next year, 2018. Uh, if anybody's First time on the video, I've got a subscribe button on one of these corners coming up at the end. Uh, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we'll catch up with this one tomorrow, along with some Pucos. Full grind on these. It's going to be great fun. See you tomorrow. Gee, that's a long day.